Hey y'all, so a B doesn't want to look basic no more. So I'm actually going to review a product that I seen online that is supposed to give you or teach you how to do a really good eyeliner. I've always wanted to do eyeliner, don't know how to do it, can never get it right um, because my hand is too shaky or you know how you're putting it on and your eye is just constantly blinking and it won't stay still. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing this, um, what the hell is this called? Um, it's a tool by Guide Beauty. So I've seen it online, it went viral, and it looked like a lot of people were saying that it works. So that's what I'm trying out today. I'm gonna see if it's going to make me look a little bit better, give me some drama, because um, most of my eye routine, makeup routine, is pretty damn basic. I still don't know how to do eyeshadow, don't know how to do a smoky eye. I really don't play with makeup, because I just don't know how to do it. And I know there's a lot of tutorials out there, but they all look easier than they are. And I know this stuff takes time, but I'm at least gonna start small with some type of cat eye. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what that looks like on me and just see if it works. All right, so Guide Beauty is supposed to be for us beginners who need a little bit more assistance when it comes to putting on a wing liner. That would definitely be me. Um, so here is what their applicator looks like. The packaging is beautiful. Um, it's a plastic tip, so it's really easy to work with. The shade also comes in dark brown if you want it. They're $24 each, but when you get the duo together, it's $50, so I paid that for the wand and the cream, and then you get the two extra applicators. Right now, I'm just showing you what my eye usually looks like. If I just do a liquid liner, which I prefer because I think you can get a sharper look, I just obviously don't have that skill, but I wanted to show you what it looks like with the liquid liner, and of course, it's all messed up and bumpy. I think at least the tail part looks presentable. And I noticed that if you keep your eye open when you try to do the liquid liner, it makes your eyelid stay still as opposed to closing your eye and having it blinking constantly. And the reason I do the liquid liner so thin is because I have hooded eyes and that's the main reason why I never bother to wear eyeshadow or a cat eye is just because you already know that your makeup tends to just kind of get stuck up here too when you do that, that's why I do a really thin um, cat eye when I do attempt it is just because I've been letting my hooded eyes discourage me from really learning how to wear eyeshadow and I would love to pull off all those amazing looks but every time I tried eyeshadow it just did not work for me so I think I need to go back to the drawing board and give it another try. Now I'm going to do the same eye using their pressed cream. I think you really do have to gunk it up just to make sure you have enough um, cream on there so you don't have to constantly keep digging it in. So it does hold it pretty well but you do just kind of have to gum it up a little bit. Um, and here goes. I'm just giving it a try. It is very easy to hold. It doesn't take long to get used to it. And I think already you don't see the bumpiness that I had <laughs> with the um, liquid liner, at least not yet, but um, there's a little bit of it, but I think it went on pretty smoothly. It's just a matter of me learning how to properly shape it so that it looks good. You don't waste too much of the product, but as you can see, there's just so much of it. A little bit of that is gonna last you a very long time. This is my amateur look for now. I just need to improve my skill, but I do think it was worth the money. So if you're looking for something to help with your wing liner, go ahead and get this. And if you have some pointers for us hooded eye girls, let me know in the comments.